What is up, guys? My name is Justin. I'm Hunter. And we are The, the Hungry, Hungry Brought Us. So today we are in the valleys of Aina Haina looking for some ginger so you can make some ginger pumpkin soup. Usually Hawaiian ginger is distinguished by that, you know, that iconic red flower. I'm not too sure what's going on. Maybe because it's like winter time. The leaves are kind of shriveling up, turning yellow a little bit. I mean, you can kind of see we, it's all, all kind of scattered in this little meadow around here. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Oh, I smell it. Need some water. I have water on me. Okay, so we cleaned the ginger. We're gonna take it back now, and then right now we're gonna slice up this kabocha. Um, all right. So now we're just taking out all the seeds. So we have now cut up all our vegetables. We got our ginger, our onions, our carrots, our kabocha. We're gonna throw that into the pot and saute that in some oil for a bit. But after we do that, that's gonna really bring out the flavors of all of like our vegetables. We're gonna go ahead and cook the rest of it through with chicken broth and then um, use an immersion blender. It's just gonna like whip all of the ingredients, get them creamy, and then just add a little decadence, finish it off with a little bit of heavy cream. And that's it, really simple really nutritious and let's just get started. Yeah. All right, so I'm now adding around one fourth cup of oil. So now the oil is hot, so we're gonna put all of our vegetables in. <laughs> not very hot. Okay, maybe it's not hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we add a little bit of garlic in here. A few minutes later. Everything has been thoroughly sauteed. We're gonna keep going until the chicken stock is above the level of the vegetables. Okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I guess we didn't have exactly enough, but I think that's pretty close. So we'll see you in half an hour. A few minutes later. So our thing has been simmering for about 30 minutes. Um, so now we're gonna use this immersion blender. I don't know if you can kind of see. Uh, to kind of make this pretty smooth into a nice soup. Hunter is going to pour in the cream. I am going to mix this thing. I gotta agree, I think putting a bunch of aromatics in this soup really makes it super fragrant. And the colors, man, it's just like, such like a nice shade of yellowish orange. Taste is really the most important thing, so let's give it a taste. <laughs> That's pretty good. I feel like it's it's not the, there's still like a little bit of particles of the vegetables. So I wish you could have made it a little bit smoother. Yeah. Like I feel like you can really taste each individual part of the vegetable, like each vegetable you put in there. And they, they really just work together so seamlessly. The kabocha is the body of it. Yeah, you get that sweetness from the carrot. But really the star of it is the ginger. You can really Oh yeah, ginger. yeah, the ginger really cuts through, but really wasn't complicated at all. But really, I mean, it took what, like 45 minutes to make the whole thing. And for 30 of the minutes, we were just, playing Super Smash Bros on the side, watching it boil. <laughs> but I think the real question is, how many brought us out of 10? Maybe it's still five, I think this is the best of the season. Wow, really? Yeah. I'll give it like a eight, maybe. I think this is something that I could definitely see myself making again. Um, I'd give this a nine. I think it's a strong recipe. Not the flashiest thing, but it's, it's warm, mm. comforting. It didn't take that long to make. Uh, let me first say, uh, mahalo to Chef Sam Choi. Thank you so much for showing us this recipe. We've really enjoyed it, and I think our family's gonna enjoy it as well. Um, but I think that's all we have for today. So my name is Justin. I'm Hunter. And we, we are, are the Hungry Bratas. Shoots! That's pretty good, dude. It's good? Let's, Let's go. go.